Welcome to Shift by Bacardi. Hey all you thirsty, fabulous folks at home. It's Liz Callis here from the Drake Hotel and it is time to get this shift started. Today, we are going to be having a pantry party. We are gonna plunder through my pantries and try to make a delicious cocktail. We'll see. Can you make a cocktail with like cream corn? Is that weird? I don't know what I have in there, but let's go check it out. Step one is to use my favorite step stool, AKA the chair. To step up here, this is what I have to do to go in my pantry. It's an art, okay? Balance on the chair. Balance this on your head. I don't know what's in here. Don't judge me. Okay. Okay, it's not bad. Hamburger helper. Probably not delicious in a cocktail. Look at this tiny jar of Nutella. I'm never opening it ever because it's so cute. Sesame seeds. Hmm. Marshmallows. Those aren't mine, okay? Oh. So we have some canned peaches. Okay, I see some good stuff already. Soda, grapefruit flavored soda. I'm gonna get some citrus here. Floating garnish, if you will. Got some lemon, frozen fruit, Louis Salvage. My French is impeccable. Here we go. This is the beginnings of a beautiful pantry party here, folks. Ooh, baby, yeah. Another day, another CERB dollar. Fabulous and ready for the ship. That was a very fun plunder through my pantry. Oh, you guys know way too much about me now. That's okay, we're not judging. We don't judge here, we're just having some quarantine fun. Just use your creativity, use what you have on hand, and you'll be so surprised at what you're actually able to make with what you already have on hand. I had some pomelo grapefruit San Pellegrino, club soda, You'll need both. Frozen blueberries, other fruit, that'll be fine too. Orange and some peaches, which I've arranged very carefully in this bowl here. And that's not how I speak. We have a dry red wine. Okay, here's how I feel about red wine and like sangrias and things. Cheap and cheerful, okay? You wanna make it with white wine that you have? Amazing. You wanna make it with sparkling wine that you have? Amazing. You wanna make it with rosé? Rosé season is upon us, folks. You make it with rosé. We're not judging here. The lovely Saint Germain elderflower liqueur. Love this liqueur. If you haven't tried this yet, this should be a staple on your bar. It is lovingly known as the bartender's ketchup. That's just because it makes everything taste better and a little bit of Raynal French VSOP brandy. Oh, and lemon juice, and we're taking some of the canned peach juice, uh, and I've gone ahead and just mixed it right in with the lemon juice. That's a ratio of one to one, so half lemon juice and half peach, canned peach syrup. I love this drink. It is built right in the glass. That is my favorite kind of drink to make because it's like less less mess and it's very easy. Starting with our non-alcoholic ingredients first, we're gonna take our half peach syrup, half lemon juice. We're looking for one ounce. I just love this little Saint Germain glass. It comes with a little spoon, it's also straw, so cute. Then we're gonna take Saint Germain. We're also looking for an ounce of our Saint Germain Put it in the glass. Half an ounce of our brandy. This is just gonna kind of round out a lot of these bright notes in there. Just half an ounce in there. Then we're gonna take that fruit, it's gonna put it right in there. <laughs> yeah, baby. Some peach, some orange slices, frozen blueberries, which are great because it also acts like ice. You're gonna take a sip of your wine, very important. Oh, so good. Let's say just two ounces of wine. I feel like that's good. We don't wanna get too crazy here. Ooh, we have a little layering happening. I'm not upset about it. Watch this trick. Ready? Very profesh. Little bit of soda, little bit of grapefruit soda to top. Oh my God, double pour. That's how it's done. Take our spoon straw, mix this all up. Oh, this is making me so excited to sit on my patio. You just wanna take your straw, kinda integrate the ingredients and give it a taste. Oh my goodness. And that is really good and all just from my pantry of what I have already in my house. I love that the blueberries are the ice because it's not gonna get watered down. Like this drink is gonna taste the same way at the bottom as it does at the top. Look at how pretty that is. It's so cute with all the floating little blueberries. That's the little pantry sangria for you. Cheers. Thank you so much for tuning into my pantry party. I had a blast. Now it's last call. 
so it's time to go home. And remember that with a little bit of creativity, a little ingenuity, and okay, a little liquid inspiration from Bacardi, you too can make a delicious cocktail right from your home. Tune in next time on Shift to see who's up. I'm Liz Callis and have a great day.